ALT or AST blood test. What is ALT? ALT is formerly known as serum glutamic pyruvic transaminase. It stands for alanine transaminase. ALT is an enzyme found in the liver. Blood test required to measure the ALT enzyme level in the body. In this video we will discuss what is ALT or AST blood test and why it is required. To whom this test should do frequently. Let's come on guys to discuss on it as details. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the new video updates for you in the quick way. When liver cells are damaged, ALT enzyme release in the liver and mixed into the bloodstream. High levels of ALT is a sign of a liver disease. What is AST? AST is also formerly known as serum glutamic oxaloacetic transaminase test. AST is stands for aspartate aminotransferase test. AST is an enzyme that is found mostly in the liver, but it's also in muscles and other organs in your body. When cells that contain AST are damaged, they release the AST enzyme into your blood. When to check the liver condition, in that case ALT or AST blood test is very necessary and tests signify the condition of liver or liver damage. Meaning of enzyme low, normal, high levels. ALT and AST enzymes are measured as per international units per liter. The normal levels vary based on a person's body mass index. It also depends on the lab's reference value, or typical results. Low ALT or AST enzymes value. Lower than normal ALT or AST level is very uncommon and usually isn't a cause for concern. But a lower than normal ALT or AST level could indicate a vitamin B6 deficiency or chronic kidney disease. A lower AST level for adults is less than 10 international unit per liter. A normal ALT level for adults is less than 8 international unit per liter. Normal ALT or AST enzymes value. A normal AST level for adults is less than 48 international unit per liter. A normal ALT level for adults is less than 50 international unit per liter. High ALT or AST enzymes value. The high end of the reference range is referred to as the upper limit of normal enzymes value. A high AST level for adults is greater than 120 international unit per liter. A normal ALT level for adults is greater than 75 international unit per liter. Mild ALT or AST enzymes value. Mild elevations are generally considered the patient is suffering from any chronic liver diseases like NALFT, hepatitis or any liver problems. In these diseases mild elevated enzymes is very dangerous. When liver function test is recommended. In the following cases, the patient has need to do ALT or AST blood test in every regular 3 to 6 months or depends on the condition of the patients as per doctor suggested. If you are suffering from NAFLD diseases, fatty liver disease, obesity, diabetes, chronic hepatitis B, C, D, liver cirrhosis or ascites, taking medications or steroids that are toxic to your liver, tumor in the liver or liver cancer, liver ischemia means not enough blood flow to your liver, which leads to death of liver tissue, hemochromatosis means having too much iron in your body, mononucleosis, autoimmune hepatitis diseases. Roles of ALT or AST. ALT enzyme mainly found in the liver that helps convert proteins into energy for the liver cells. But when the liver is damaged, this enzyme released into the bloodstream and enzyme levels can be increased after all as the cause of liver disease. AST is also another enzyme that helps to metabolize amino acids in the body. Both ALT and AST need to be made normal in the body. AST is found in the liver, brain, pancreas, heart, kidneys, lungs, and skeletal muscles. Are there any risks to the test? This test is very common and there is no any risk for giving blood sample for test. You may have just slightly pain or bruising at the spot where the needle was put in to get blood through syringe. 
Your doctor will use these results to help diagnose your condition or determine treatment you might need. If you already have liver disease, liver function tests can help determine how your disease is progressing and if you are responding to treatment. If you like this video, please like, share our videos as well as press the bell icon to get the new video updates instantly. If you know more about hepatitis and its treatment with latest update, please share in the comment box. Note. The information presented in this video is for general information only and should not be taken as professional medical advice.